You're watching The Breakfast Club. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yeah. Yellow yeah. Elliot Wilson. Wilson. Nobody guys... knows the importance of notes more than Elliot Wilson. Yo, man, we keep notes. Angela didn't get to get her notes off with that bird man, yo. <laughs> you know how that feels, though. Well, well you guys are big. You guys did it again. Yo, I saw Charlemagne the night before. Was well, it everything I told you it was going to be? <laughs> He was like a kid before Christmas morning. <laughs> Charlamagne was so excited. I was like, stop making small talk with Charlamagne. I'm like, so I see y'all got Birdman? Y'all got Birdman anymore? He's like, shortest interview, best club history, two minutes. Da, da, da. And he's just so excited. And I'm, he didn't tell me anything about put respect on my name and all that, but I could just tell y'all was sitting on something. Well, we knew it was going to be a home run. We knew it was going to be a home run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew like, congratulations home. again, you guys, man. Monsters, man. But did, did you think it was going to be that? Like, it's crazy. Nah, Not I mean, to turn knew, it on y'all, but I was like... Nah, nah, I mean, I knew it was going to do its thing, but I didn't know it was going to do... So you mean, did you think Birdman was going to act that way when he came up here? That, that's what you said. Yeah, everything. Well, I think yes, both, too. Absolutely. I didn't think he was going to act like I that. I told y'all yeah. that. I told y'all I said he's going to come in here. Because there's so much previous issues absolutely, of people disrespecting absolutely. him on the program. If you want to call it disrespect. Well, they said some pretty crazy things, though. Okay, <laughs> that's true. Trick <laughs> Daddy, yeah, Trick Daddy, said some Trick Daddy, Trick Daddy jumped but, out the window a little. But let me ask you this: as a reporter, you've had people that had issues with you as well. As Angela's a favorite topic with me. No, yes, but I I'm saying, yeah, of course. And so the argument is, you know, should people be have the right to be mad at you when they come up here? Of course, and based I think, off and I think you, other people say, and I think you did what you tried to do. Like you tried to, okay, come on, Mike, let's try to talk it out. I mean, you you are here on this platform, so I think you just try to work it out, but. Clearly, he wanted to kind of more make his statement or at least feel like he he could, like, show y'all, like, I'm here, but, you know, I want to send this message to y'all and leave. Is that ever Now, I don't idea? know if it really came off as effective as he wanted because yeah, yeah. people seem to more, you know, turn it around and laugh at him or make fun of him because mm -hmm. of it, which is weird. But, you know, that's the culture that we're in. Michael Jordan's, like, the greatest basketball player of all time. <laughs> Undisputed, right? right? Absolutely. And all he does is get disrespected daily <laughs> with this crying meme. <laughs> Yeah, All day, so it just shows you how we like to tear down the great ones. But isn't it, but you know isn't what I mean? We tear down the great ones. He was crying. It's not like they made this up about. No, Jordan. it's just that he couldn't get over past issues. Like to, to Angela's point, like I think that obviously you manage relationships through the years. You guys yeah. are good with people, and then sometimes you're bad with people. So you manage relationships. He still was. He needed to have his moment based on all the past. Now maybe next time when you guys sit down, you'll get a great interview from I don't him. Want to sit we try. Yeah. We try. Not not right now. Not in the immediate future. If but that I, was I'm, you, I'm would cool, you sit period. down with him again right away? I don't think no. I don't think it should be right away. And I also think that it's hard to really focus on Birdman completely until we realize, until we figure out what's going to happen with him and Wayne yep. and that business arrangement. So you know, the fact that he's not stepping out and saying I'm putting out an album and Rich Gang and all that, I don't see how that's going to really connect to the people. While we still don't know the the little Wayne issue right. still seems unresolved. We so, still ain't got called a five. Yeah, we ain't got. We also don't even know if he's gonna if they're going to reconcile off the money situation's been handled. We don't. It's still a mystery. You know, we see Wayne running around with two chains, but we don't know. You know where that's at, so I think it's gonna hard, it's gonna be hard for Birdman to get the focus on him or be treated with respect until the Little Wayne issue gets resolved. I see Jay Electronica say that you need to put some respect on his name. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's, let's read right? those tweets now. I don't know. I don't even know what happened. Yeah, where did that come from? Jay Electronica tweeted out, Elliot mad. Wilson, I got words for you, Elliot, and you ain't gonna like them. It used to be vice versa, but nowadays B Dot is your saving grace. B Dot is my saving grace. With I love me, that. At least that's I can only speak for myself, but when I see you, rest assured. I'm gonna make you put some respect on my now, name. Now is that a threat? That's Uptown last one. <laughs> Don't try to get the hip hop police riled up, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the dad. Look, man, I love Jay. He's great. Jay Electronic is great. I think that he's mad because I said something. I criticized him going at Kendrick uh, with the song he put out, and I didn't think the song was good. And um, I made some comments about it. So I think that's what he's upset about. You know, I thought it was wrong for him to try to tear Kendrick down. And he's since kind of reached out to Kendrick and tried to he resolve apologized. it after. So my whole thing is, though, that happens a lot too. Like, they'll get mad at you for saying it and then they resolve it or they recognize yeah. they're wrong, but then they're still mad at you. Yeah. They're I mad feel for like, you weighing in. On yeah, your but they, no, they're mad that I'm, I'm still that mother. Like I, what I say matters. Like I'm still the goat. I'm the greatest journalist. What I say matters in this Talk culture. That and it's been that way for a long mother. Time and I'm gonna joke. keep winning. So, <laughs> so you get mad that like it matters what I think more. So great, that's what I think. It does. But at the end of the day, Jay Electronica needs to have the courage of creation and put his music out. We've been waiting too long, um, and that's what we expect from him. Like you know, he missed his moment in a sense, and I think he's so good lyrically and such a great talent and so much so skillful that he could have a moment again. But there's too much false starts, there's too much hype, and too much like him popping in and out. And it's just like, I'm here every day. I check in every day. I go to Thank work you. every day. I go to I'm work on every this day, beat, B. I'm covering this hip hop. 
and I do it with love. I do it with passion. I'm not trying to disrespect you anybody. Just gonna, you just going to continue to curse like this is uh, satellite radio? <laughs> is that what you're going to do? See, now that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. What do you mean? What I do? What I do? Our show. Yeah, I'm sorry. I love your show. Oh, I, oh, sorry. I do curse a lot when I come on your show. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, <laughs> the point is, like, I want no problems with Jay Electronica. I do respect <laughs> him. No, I do respect him, but I, I stand by what I said. Him going at Kendrick. At that time, when Kendrick's about to get these Grammys, all Kendrick's doing for the culture and how amazing Kendrick's been and the musical output he's put out, you can't tell, you can't diss that man. And yeah, you know, I, I didn't, I mean, it wasn't I, the right move. I love Jay Electronica too. I love Kendrick too. I just didn't understand why Jay would be coming at Kendrick because they seem like two sides of the same coin. Almost. Exactly. But you know? I think that Jay Electronica wants to feel like he's equal to, in that same sphere. But I think you're not active enough with your music. To be considered that, you know, I think you skillfully are there, but you have to back it up. You I, have to, you have to deliver content. I've said that before too. I have to agree yeah. with that. I think you have to deliver the content. Is definitely there, but you have to deliver content. And there's a courage in creation. I think that you know we've talked about it, and he's. I think it's simply because he said something about him and Chance the rapper, right? And he was like, you know, don't put it out. We got to tweak it. We got to tweak it. Like he's tweaking he everything. He would have never put out Exhibit C if Just Blaze exactly. Had went ahead and just so put it I, out for we him. need we need to encourage him to have courage in his creation and put it out, man. Like it, he, has, I'm sure he has. So much great content, great music, and maybe it's still being you know tweaked, and maybe it'll come out this year. Hopefully, it will, and the conversation will change. But so in the meantime, he's tweaking. He's not. No, I, think, <laughs> I think that he's still perfecting. He's still perfecting it, you know. But you know, even now with Drake, with views, right? When you mm -hmm. say you have this title, right? Like my album is going to be called right. Act Two, or it's going to be called Views. You put the pressure on yourself now because every, we, we we were so driven by anticipation now in this culture and what we think something's going to be and our speculation and what we want. And, you know, is it Drake, reggae Drake, or take care Drake, reggae or this kind of sound? Is it <laughs> like on Drizzler, Drizzler, or like what sound is he going to come with? So when you say you're going to have this Drizzler. project, that was a joke, Sizzler. like Sizzler, like Sizzler, 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 so yeah, views is a lot of anticipation, and now like you know, people are gonna dissect it crazy. You but know? there's a lot of where with Beyonce, she came out of nowhere, you know, and sneak attack, sneak attack the content, and then everybody's just floored by it, and we're all consuming it in one way. So, th so I think that when you go the other way and you hype something up and you say this is coming, you set a lot of pressure on yourself. Like your interview with DJ Khaled that's coming up. Yes, that's why I'm here. Oh it's my a lot god! Of you know, <laughs> and a lot of hype for that. See, that's why you should I finally take got crowned MTV too, man. Should, trying to be like Charlamagne. You should take away expectation. And just drop the drop it. With well, that's no what B's done. That's what B's done twice yeah. now. Like yeah. she did it once, and then amazingly she did it even more. But everybody can't incredibly. do that. Come on, no. not every artist can do that though. Not every artist can do that's that. That's a difficult thing to pull off. But but, but, but back to Cali, yeah. I mean, that's let's my, talk about Crown. Yeah, yeah so. I finally got Crown back up and running. Uh, DJ Khaled is the next one I did. It was an amazing event. We are airing it on Wednesday night, MTV Two, 11 p.m. I'm that trying to be like Charlamagne. Dog. Trying to be like you, Charlamagne, man. Tell him I'm good money over there, man. Is this, one, <laughs> is this gonna be one special or this will is it a now one be... special thing with okay. talks of talks of taking it further? I think MTV Two is a wonderful place. Yeah. At Charlamagne, one time I said something about well, I picked up uh, MTV more than MTV Two, and Charlamagne kind of checked me. He's like, "Yo, don't be disrespecting MTV Two, man. MTV Two <laughs> got <laughs> MTV Two got that paper, and like, okay, like, no, nah, they're also good, smart people over there, which good, I which is not like, people. like that, like Daniel cool. Darren Burns, like a That's really my guy. Uh, your guy. I did TV with him way back with the Ego Trip days, mm -hmm. and um, I'm Paul proud of Richie, all the work he's Candido. done. Yeah, they got a great yeah. team, so it's a lot of good creatives, and it's gonna be a half hour version of Crown of Airs. We're gonna put the full thing online like we always do. And I'm excited, man. I really want people to tune in. And, you know, hopefully the next one I do, you know, we can do it still with MTV2 or may take it someplace else. Why, why TV? Like, why? Because, you know, it does so well That's online. still the measuring stick, man. People act like I'm so successful and I'm so established. And I feel like I still have so much to achieve because I haven't really conquered television or terrestrial radio. Like, I'm as big as you can get without being present in those mediums. You have right. dabbled so that's in my television. Challenge. I've dabbled, yeah, but you I haven't dabbled. really dabbled. Yeah, you guys have, yeah, with, I got you my the white on. rapper show or something. <laughs> Remember that? The yeah, that was with Darren show, Byrne. Yeah. All the type of stuff, all that content we did with uh, with uh, VH1 with Ego Trip. But that was a while ago, you know. Right. When we did the white rapper show, there wasn't even really white rappers. Now there's millions of white rappers, you know. Besides Eminem, there's now millions of legitimate white rappers. Um, wasn't MC Search? And now it's really more about me as, as, a, as yeah, he was the host of the show. Okay. And you had an Ego Trip show as well. Those were all ego trip shows, yeah. yeah. But I mean, now more so, me as Elliot Wilson, you know, this authority of the culture, of hip hop. You know, me, my personal branding with it, attached with it. You know, the, the podcast we're doing with Rap Radar, mm -hmm. with B Dot, that's also making a lot of noise. And you know, it's just about that. That that here's somebody who lo
and I want these platforms to tell stories. People you know? only listen to that podcast with B Dot though. He's just I know saving he's grace. A saving grace. I love that. He's yeah. saving grace. According to Jayla. <laughs> no, Jayla not Jayla Chanica did not, not used to like B Dot and now B Dot is. See how saving things change? You didn't used to like B Dot? <laughs> no, we had an issue with him. And divide and conquer is not really a righteous thing, my brother. Don't try to divide and conquer, <laughs> man. No, that's you what that is. No, no, that is. Don't that divide is, and conquer, is. man. The issue was that uh, I think it was New Year's Eve. They were both at my house and B Dot had said that on Twitter that he thought that Exhibit C was overrated. Nah. He did, and I championed Exhibit C. And, and got B. Thing. Dot said that, and Jay Electronica, of course, saw it. And when he saw him, he said, so you think Exhibit C is overrated? And B. Dot was like, ah, oh, you know. Uh, it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Come on! And then B. Dot got high and passed out. <laughs> now, let's, let's talk about this calendar Life interview. with ye. Now, what's different about this calendar interview? Than That's a great question. That I mean, obviously, he has his talking points and he has his perspective, but I do think that we dig deeper mm -hmm. into his struggles and how he's overcome a lot of things. I mean, his story's crazy from you know, his immigrant past and his parents and the struggles he's had. And, you know, I think with Khaled, he's always fighting for respect. He's right. fighting to be respected respect. for the music that he makes and, and how passionate he is about our culture. And I think that, you know, sometimes he's more more kind of like, attack, people kind of more connect to the catchphrases and Khaled, the personality. Right. And I think his challenge now is that with that Snapchat phenomenon he's been able to create, he's, he's elevated himself to A-list level. Like mm -hmm. all these corporations want to be in business with him. He's got millions of people now following him and connected to him. So now the challenge is to get those people to connect to his music, you know. And I think that that's what's gonna that's what's most important to him. And I think there's an undertone with that throughout the interview. So I think it puts it more in perspective. Like mm -hmm. it isn't just a great interview performance by Khaled. It's a great exchange and great dialogue about you know his place and culture right now, which is amazing. Like it's amazing that he's taking this app on the phone and being able to elevate his career in this way. We've never seen that done. I love and a lot of times Khaled in hip hop, win. yeah, a lot of times in hip hop. Um, when you succeed outside of the music, you never can get back to the music, right? Like if right. your acting thing takes off, you're gone. But you I know? feel like it all still But I feel like with him, he wants his, the music. Yeah. It still all ties in his music. And the reason I say I love to see Khaled win is because I did feel like I would see a lot of people hating on him. Like we would interview him and then people would leave all these nasty comments. I'm like, how do you hate and you also DJ Khaled? No, no, I don't understand. I think Khaled, yeah, you, you're ha we're all happy for him not seeing him win. But, you know, with the last album, it didn't do as well as he wanted and a lot of interviews he was doing, you could tell he was getting angry and frustrated mm -hmm. with media. Like, he got mad at me. You know, I wasn't giving him a crown back then. I wasn't giving, you know, he wasn't getting magazine covers. He was dissing magazines. He was like, he's not getting that validation. Like, yeah, we actually had, like, since you guys breakfast club. Why wouldn't you give him Let a me crown? get the gossip Wait, thing out. Let me get the gossip thing out. The, uh, what were we at? Powerhouse, right? Right. Uh, well, we're all looking to see if Meek Mill's going to set it on Charlemagne. Khaled set it on me because he was mad I can give him a crown. So I'm walking through the thing. And um, Khaled just rolls up on me and curses me out. Kaiser's there. They right. taped it, the whole thing, and then he bounced. Why that and never I was came like, out? Huh? That never came out. No, nah, thankfully. But what? <laughs> hey, <laughs> somebody put that out, what did they make? What did they make you somebody say, Somebody put out Khaled They didn't make me out. say that he just flipped say on sorry. me. Say sorry. Say sorry. No, no, no. It was, it, was, it was just more like I made you, you know, me and Ross made you. Like, this this, you? this guy doesn't want to give me a crown. Like, all that type of shit. Like, wow. he was mad. They stepped to Charlamagne like that one time. Yeah, Khaled actually stepped to Charlamagne in Miami. Khaled never stepped to me like that. Don't even tell that lie. That was in Miami. Khaled ain't never stepped to me like that. Everybody cleared a room out. Remember you? Yeah, that ain't what he did. He pulled him to the side. But no, but Ross was like, look. Look, I don't like that. That tape's not coming out. Ross hit me. I was like, "Oh, it's cool. We can put so it out." So they were whatever. gonna put it out. Blah blah. No, I don't know if it was, but I'm just saying he How let me know he didn't like that. How you come back from that though, Elliot? Because it seems like a lot of people have had issues with you, mm -hmm. and then somehow you patch it up, but you never really hold a grudge. I would not give you if I was Khaled. I wouldn't do the crown with you. That's what I'm I'd saying. Like, Yo, it I could, it could go the other way, right? I, I, seven I don't need in. Elliot. I got Ellen. I don't need the Elliot Word at this up. point, right? I'm so eight so in the fact that you want to give me a crown. Because I didn't think at that time that I could sell tickets and make it the event that it was. With this one, we sold 500, 600 tickets. I don't think I could have done that back then. And he should have appreciated you know I mean? getting people to pay. No, Ryan. because getting people to pay money to watch somebody be interviewed isn't paying yeah, for a live I think show. Like, I think it's right. it's a different then, thing. Khaled, it's a way different Khaled. And it's Khaled a way different should be Khaled. actually and I, But here's now. the thing. And I always, and I, like, I'm not trying to stir it back up by even revealing that story, but it is The Breakfast Club, so we keep it 100 but I'm happy, you know, and I got great respect for him. And we've always had a great relationship. And he's always done a lot of things to me. Like when I was doing internet radio, he would give me these custom drops. Like I was on Clear Channel. Like I really appreciate that. And J ones, I heart media. Now, <laughs> I heart media. My bad. With J ones and his team. So you know, I just think he felt betrayed because we were so good and we were doing good business and it couldn't get to that next level. But he, you know, I respect people that prove me wrong. He stepped out of his comfort zone. He did the Snapchat thing. He took off. He elevated himself. And you see that every week it's another amazing accomplishment he has. Like Jay-Z this, the Beyonce tour, his management, the Apple show. 
Mm-hmm. It's amazing to watch. So, And then now when we can sit back and try to see if we can resolve our differences, he could have stepped back and said, you know what, I don't need Elliot Wilson because he's doing me a tremendous favor in a sense because of how he's elevated himself to bring me to a new audience that may not know who I am. A lot of people aren't going to know who I am. Mm-hmm. They're going to get to know me Wednesday on MTV2 at 11 p.m. So, you know, <laughs> I like that. That was kind of smooth. Nice plug. Um, so, I, yeah, he could have been like, I've done Ellen. I don't need Elliot. So I appreciate him. And it, actually, it also comes back to your point, which is that I represent this culture. Callie represents this culture. Mm-hmm. We're very passionate about it. And I think that you should enjoy seeing the us win because we win and we win with a good heart and we want to do what's best for the culture. Why well, I, I think does not that stand represents by that. you if you're not hot. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> if you're not hot, he's not standing by you. I've always but been I accused say, of that. I've always been accused of that. You do have the Rap Radar but podcast I stay hot now, though. so whoever can't make it onto Crown can always get on the Rap Radar podcast. And is my Rap Radar podcast not hot? Come on. I deliver <laughs> great content consistently. Right. I think. I think great interviews. You guys were a great interview we did. Um, I appreciate you guys coming on the program. I now thought that was great. great interviews on there. Who y'all got you on know? there this week? I haven't listened this week. Uh, what's the last one we did? We did the Complex Dudes because they just, uh, Noah Callahan Bever and Joe LaPuma, they just scored a major deal with uh, Hearst Verizon okay. for their company. So we wanted to do that. That was a little different for us doing the more the behind the scenes and not the artists. Before that, I went out to California. We did um, 2088, Big Sean and Janae Aiko, and okay. went to Atlanta and did Organized Organize Noise. Noise. That's the one I want to listen yeah, to. Yeah, because my thing is like, you know, some, you know, we all based in New York most of the time. And, um, you know, you, you kind of have to always deal with artists coming to New York and press runs. I felt like, yo, f*** it. I want to go out and get the story. Like, I'm going to come out my own pocket. Let's fly to L.A. Because, thankfully, the, the the company, CBS, they have other stations, obviously, other right. affiliates. Um, so we could record in those studios to so take advantage of it. So, we, Nori uh, so me and B-Dot popping. got in there. Yeah, and you, Nori got got his foot on my neck out here. Nori's right a does. monster. Nori, Nori, Nori be posing. I heard you flew out because Nori Drink Champs is killing y'all right now. And CBS yo, is like, yo, y'all better they, step They doing it numbers. I saw That's Nori my label posted mate. that he was number one and you were like number four. Nori is currently number one right now. He's <laughs> been number, number one, one for episode. a few weeks, bro. Not a Damn, few weeks, nah, y'all, man. It's been a few weeks. The Not KRS weeks, one, man. the DMX one. We don't do Queens on Queens Ooh, Crime, though. We don't do I'll Queens say, on right? I heard, I heard Jay-Z about to go on there. Yo, that, yo, I, would, yo I, was, I got a story for that. All okay. right. Uh, what was the thing? Tax Stone. I love Tax Stone. It's dope. Um, don't lie, because I know the story, Why? You know the story? Tell me the story. I know the story. Come on, let's, story. Hear, Tell Elliot, the story. No, let's hear Elliot's story. Right. Tell me your version of the story. No, no, Elliot. <laughs> you, know has, you know what has to do with Jay-Z <laughs> with Elliot's story? No, 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 let uh, Elliot tell it. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, Elliot. No, no, I want to know what he knows story. No, I, I want to see if he lied. Go ahead. About Jay-Z? I thought Jay-Z was going to be on Tax Stone show. Yes. On his yeah, podcast. I thought, yeah, I thought he was going to be on the podcast. So because you a phone call. I went crazy. I, I was insane. Oh, who do you think you are, YN? You went crazy I'm, like I'm, Beyonce I'm, and Lemonade I'm, with the baseball bat with hot sauce? crazy. You. Wait, so is Tax Stone mad at me because of that? Is that what it is? Nah, nah. Oh, okay. No, nah, because it was like he did the viral thing of him, oh, like you know, the drug I dealer speak thing. For Tax Stone. I don't know if That's you true. That. I, I want to be on Tax Stone's show. I got great respect for him. We actually, I don't think we've ever really met or had a conversation, but. but no, yeah. okay. But he may be mad at you. I did hear him say yesterday, Elliot wants to come on the show. Elliot, so maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know if that, I, I wouldn't call that mad. In a very subtle mad. way, in a subtle yeah, way. He's not mad. In a subtle way. But basically, but, but, he's going to stab No, so but to be fair, though, we talked about doing it, I talked about doing this show, like, December, like, I was like, I, I actually wanted to do it on my birthday, I was like, what's a cool look for me to do, like, so I've been talking before that, but no, anyhow, what, ha- what happened was, he was doing a live event, and I guess he was in the office with Jay, and he put that video up of him saying, I'm the former oh, drug dealer, drug dealer, dealer. And he kept shouting him out. He even said to me, I got a sneaky guest or something like blah, blah. So I thought he, I thought homie had him. I thought he pulled it off because I saw him with the Duce moves and Rock Nation. So I'm just protective. Man. Before we get back, I'll take it back. I remember when um, with the last album with Jay, he did the whole Twitter interview thing, right? right. Yeah. It was like, there's going to be no interviews, blah, blah. You know, Elliot even shouted me out. Elias, you know, this is it, Elliot. Leave I'm not doing nothing else, yeah. blah, blah. <laughs> right. Two days go by. I see a mother picture, a Jay Z and you mother. That's I, lost, girl, I lost. I lost. I lost my. Sh- I lost my. Sh- I was so. F- I was XXL mad. Like Stop I was cursing. mad. Like I'm sorry. I lost my um temper. I was so upset. You a YM? Jay Z is not yours. I was Elliot. like, yo. I was like, <laughs> you gotta know that he's not yours. You sound like you want to make a I lemonade like, out. No, no, no. Like, Jay Z's cheating don't tell, on me. Don't he tell. Don't tell. Don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> He want to make his own if version of If you do it one more time, <laughs> not more. I forgive you. You don't do it no more. Don't, don't hurt yourself, Wyatt. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Nah, um, no, because I, I just thought he said he's not doing interviews. I look bad. Yo, the culture expects me to deliver. 
They expect me to give them Drake. They expect me yeah, to give them hope. crazy. I put the pressure on myself. They, I'm supposed to deliver. Like, I'm supposed to deliver. If there's going to be a whole interview, I got to be the one to get it or try to get it or no, I'm no, going to get I it. No, I There's so many outlets out he, here. You know, that's the thing. He tells me I'm too competitive. That's the thing. Yeah, we tells expect me all to see time. those guys with you. We expect them to see with The Breakfast Club. We expect them to see with Sway. Like, we just but at that time, that was big for y'all. And I'm not hating on y'all. I just, I just, one minute you're telling me. <laughs> He's not doing you any really press. You really sound like you got cheated and on. Then he's no. do, and then he's doing the the uh, the, the peck us and the popping up and the doing it. So did you, take, did you take him back? After that? Huh? Did you forgive him? <laughs> no, that got me the Yankee Stadium interview. I, we went through it. We had our differences. So, so and you, then he so, agreed to do my platform. So percentage-wise, when you call Jay-Z, percentage-wise, how often does he answer the phone? I don't never call. I don't have his number. We do emails. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have like, his number. Thank God. I do not have his number. Jay I'm may not, not like you right now. Because I'm telling truth about stuff? Whatever now. <laughs> oh, God. So stupid. Yo, Freedom's my journey to the album. You want to dance sorry, why? So stupid. So stupid. So, 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 so what stupid. happened? So you called the label and was like, why is he doing that? No, I hit home. He sent you an email and said, big homie, you better grow up. All right? <laughs> I, just, I went in. We have arguments. We have disagreements with men. I, I went at him. I'm like, what is this? You doing this? And you mm -hmm. say you're not doing whatever. I, it sounds real. It does sound it does wild. Sounds it sounds really petty. Wow. Wild. 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 Are we gonna but see your wife Danielle job, punching him in the elevator? I guess with I guess I guess with ra I guess with radio, you guys have a mentality that as long as they come to our platform, it's good. It doesn't matter if they're down the dial. All that it doesn't matter. I mean, we don't care. You don't care. I, I'm not that don't person. I, I don't know if I could be that person. I care. I want to be first. I'm gonna go for it. And if I can't be first, I want to do it better. But you, you know, okay. I just I go Maybe for he it. Was gonna do it and it felt like, nah, I can't do that because now because Elliot. Now Elliot's mad at me. No, I don't, I don't want no problems with tax, though. And I don't think that that's the case. I think that uh, Jay was supporting him doing his event. I don't know if necessarily he was. I think I just assumed that. And I took it too far because I'm so protected. You jumped out the but window. But there was a I'm time. No, but there was. No, 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 no not of my friendship. Not, not of my friendship <laughs> with Jay. I'm protected of my creepy. rep <laughs> and me being the top guy in this game of, it, of journalism. Because it sounds. My, I'm protective of me, man. Wins, but man. Like, like, I used to secure cover stories. I negotiate deals. I get. It done. I've been doing this. For, it's in my DNA. But you're not like, the only game in town. You're not the only game but in town. But how did I succeed? I succeceeded by being looked at as the best. And it sounds like you that's were trying to block trying to do. Uh, Jay exactly. from doing taxes. Yeah, thing. that's what it sounded like. I wasn't blocking. You never. You I don't think were, he though, ever came in. You were kind of blocking it. it. Came out. Just admit to say sorry. Blacka blacka. I, no, I'm sorry if that's the case. I don't think I did. I think I assumed something was locked in because I'm paranoid and Jesus I'm, I'm protective of like <laughs> no no of, of getting the high. Of getting the dope. At least you can admit it, though. What At least Elliot that? can. How do you think you become the top Elliot, of the game? Elliot, I would say this about not Elliot about doesn't paranoid. lie. He doesn't lie to these artists. He's not lying to us about how yeah, crazy he is. He's more protective of Jay Z than his wife. No, I'm protective of my reputation and the outlet. And Did you go for lemonade? Things. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> if you had to go away for a week, would you rather go away with your wife or Jay Z? My wife. <laughs> Add Danimal. Add Danimal. Shout out to Add Danimal. <laughs> She got a new job, man. ESPN uh, oh, has well, a website congrats. called The Undefeated, man. Congrats, it's congrats. launching in May, man. Oh, that's like the new Grantland? Urban Grantland, Urban right? Grantland, it's going to be great. That. It's going to kick ass, man. Shout out to Danimo. Nah, that's it, man. I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to win, man. We're going to get Jay-Z on crown. Jay, here's the thing about, uh -oh. there's times, <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you what happens. Like, I think there was a time when he said he was going to do the podcast. And then, and then he, what happened? Then he didn't happen. You know he's doing lip service. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. You know Jay Z's kind of busy though. He's a father. He's a husband. He got this title thing going. Okay, so is this crazy? I think I'm just I'm gonna fly to Toronto mm -hmm. on Thursday For what? and try to get Drake. I gotta get Drake. You just gonna fly there? Just I'm gonna on the fly floor? to Toronto. You is like that the, crazy? You like the you like the you like the thought that flies. Places I'm not the to thought. Get almost, almost, <laughs> you're like almost famous. <laughs> you are definitely that. I go I go get the story, my. Pretty enough to get flew out. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like the guy from Almost Famous. You're following the band around. He's a band. Yo, you get great results when you go out and spend your own I money agree with and you. go Invest get the story. In yourself, get out there I and get it. I respect the hustle. Yes. Now, let me ask you this, Elliot. Respect that. If you are a woman, let me ask you a question. If you're a fan, right? And I just uh -oh. did a Cali crown. Right. What crown do you want to see next? You want to see Drake, right? Of That's course. it. So I got to go get it. If he ain't coming to New York, it don't seem like he's coming to New York. Get it. To promote his album and do Fallon or something. If he's in the six, he's in Toronto. I gotta go try to talk to that man and try to make that you happen. You don't even know if he's there. You know, he, he, he don't even know if he's there. He lives no, there. I think he's, he's there. there. I think he's there. I think he's there. Have you hey, he better not leave. I mean, can, I could get up there. And he has the private jet goes out. But you, it's you don't what have it a is. relationship. I thought you had a relationship with Drake. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit him. Up. I'm gonna hit the camp up, and I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm gonna he's come gonna too. Is it, is it good money? Like, you know, I'm not promised anything. Yeah. I've gone places where you know you you've done like when, I don't know you guys are radio maybe different, but. 
you know, especially print magazines, you'll fly to interview somebody and then they'll never meet with you, or they'll no, they'll it to they'll fly somewhere. Like it, it, it can never happen. It can, I, may never even link up. But I heard the interview, I'm gonna only go interview, for this it. This is a true story. I heard the only interview Drake is doing is he's going to do Zane Lowe hours before. He has committed to that, out. yeah. And yeah. I had kids hit me from last night on, like, oh, Elliot, you let Zane Lowe get you. You let Zane Lowe get you. You let Zane Lowe get you. Zane Lowe get you. Battles boy. on. Now, Elliot, I don't take it. I take it that I have to try to deliver I to get the you. best content. Elliot, do you think that if you were a woman, <laughs> Andrew, fly, like, no, I'm, I'm asking a question. Do you think a huh? woman would be looked at differently if she was the one flying to try to get these things done? Because, you know, absolutely, people definitely feel like as a female... Say you're a journalist and you're trying to get that interview. I'm but, a fly but no, myself but you get accused home. of the same thing. You're call, y'all making jokes about me being a groupie or whatever. No, no, I'm just asking a real question. I think as a woman, they would they would try to they would try to imply that maybe it depends on how she carries herself or whatever mm-hmm. the situation is. But yeah, you're always gonna imply that this person has advantages because they're close with the artist and it's 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 they're like they're favoring the person. So that's what people would assume. But I think that journalists do that. As long as you, you don't dress like a whole, Elliot, you'll be okay. Don't dress yeah, like a whole when you go to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be okay. Why'd I do this show, man? Crown Wednesday, 11 p.m., MTV2. I'm looking forward to the My weirdest crown. Breakfast Club interview ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? I See respect... See what's behind the scenes I'm shit? I'm gonna tell you why I respect that hustle because a lot of people would call it <laughs> riding, right? But I always... Hugging and all that. Yeah, but I always say... If you want something, you go, go get, get it. it. Go get it. Yep. NBA, That's how I've won. NBA will say right now, I'm not doing that. Yeah, NBA he will, will tell you right now, he's not doing it. Clue will tell you, I'm not doing that. But somebody Most like Khaled will go do it. You'll go do it. Yes. We'll ask. It's always no until they say yes. Yeah. Right? Wow. Okay. It starts in no. What? Like, it's like. Resistance like, overcomes resistance. No, it's like, I hate when people guy. like, you didn't get back to me. <laughs> wow. I, you, no, why are you just raping rappers? <laughs> no, why no, no. always so no until they say yes? Persistence like overcomes that. resistance. Wow. I understand I meant like that. that. No, it's like no response is no. Like, if you, nobody gets back to you, they're not rocking with whatever No means it is. no. No response is no. See, I'll ask, but I'm not going to ask you 26 times. If I No, ask, I'm not that either. Okay. I don't ask you 26 times. Khaled. That's Khaled. That's Khaled. That's Khaled. I don't have that personality. Now, let me ask you this. What do you think about him. Designer? His song, Panda, is now number one. <laughs> wow, that's a good question. And uh, about him as an artist. We're having, and there's yeah. a lot of critiques about him sounding like Future. What's your take on Designer? I think it's totally uh, sounds like Future. I'm a big Future fan, as everybody knows. I have a documentary <laughs> I'm shooting with Future. Also, another documentary I, I did. Shout out to the people in Mass Appeal. Um... Yeah, I think it's a copycat record in a sense, but I also respect that it's a number one record. I also respect Pusha T as the president of good music, going out and grabbing the young talent, bringing them into the fold. Mm-hmm. Kanye putting them on the record, putting a version of the record on the album, which helps the, the kids' image. Like business wise, I respect it, and I respect number one. I respect being a number one record. Mm-hmm. So me and Beat are having a debate about now should we have him on the podcast? You know what I mean? Because artistically. The, the respect may not be there yet for him, but his accomplishment is his accomplishment. So Absolutely I'm kind of conflicted about in that sense, that you know, because it's that like young man's ro- he's working, he's yeah, working and, I, yeah. and, and he's not, putting that work in. So I would, I would like to know why he sounds so much like Future. Like I would well, like I think, to know what I his think that he's that probably is. influenced by Future. I mean, the problem, you know, you know, artists like from the beginning, you know, you emulate because right. you don't have your own sound yet. You sound, you know, you know, this work with artists. It's like it's hard to be original out the gate. So yeah, there's a little too much Futurisms in the cadences and in the ad libs of the song to me. That he doesn't stand out enough that who is designer, but he's still a young dude. Like he's finding his voice. So you never know. I mean, if, if he has another good record with a different type of style, we're all gonna shut up and bow down and be like, oh, this kid. But then also, you know, we've had, you know, Trinidad James, we've had Mims, This Is Why I Hot. We've had we've had big records and the artist is just that record. Yeah. And nothing ever happened. So, you know, we don't know where it's gonna stand. But but I definitely, like I said, I I think I respect the hell out of Pusha T because he's in a position where like before, he put everybody in, in that camp onto like the Chief Keefs and all that, but he wasn't in a position to like sign bring them, sign them. And right. now he is in that position, and he went out and got that. So him and Steve Victor, I give I give them respect. But Definitely. no, I don't love, the, I don't like the record. I think the record is you don't like the a knockoff of a future. So you don't even like. And the then record. Jermaine, your man Jermaine Dupree was saying that the, the beat, the the, the the commas, the rhythm. Commas, yeah. I, my ear doesn't even hear that, but I understand now. Like I hear, I hear it more now. Yeah, that he he's, said he's that as a producer. Yeah, as a producer. Yeah, that is that even it, the track. Yeah, and, and showed how it does. Sound yeah, like if you it. slow it down, it's like well, technically you can hear also that the beat is kind of very derivative of commas. So it lacks originality. It's effective. It's the number one record in the country. And yeah, me and Beat out having real debates about okay, now I think that we have to give this kid this platform, this rapper in our podcast, you know? Like, we, he, like we, he earned it. We appreciate you joining us. <laughs> You're just gonna shut him down. So don't go to Toronto. Uh, it's well, over. He, he it's over. Uh, special. Now, I mean, um, you, can you give Envy some advice? Him and his Envy's like, I gotta go, man. I got money to make, man. Him and his rapper starting a podcast called Relationship Goals. What would you tell him? Who's doing this? Envy. You just called Relationship Goals? That's my podcast. 
What's he <laughs> with me? Seriously? <laughs> no, mine is the real relationship goals. Oh, okay, the real relationship oh, goals. Oh my God, seriously, it's hot out here this <laughs> so, Seriously. <laughs> I have no comment, man. Is it really? <laughs> no. No, I am, man. Why y'all f with me, man? It's supposed to be family, man. We appreciate you for joining us, Thank man. you so and much. So and stupid. We'll don't you hurt yourself, Toronto. Charlamagne. Don't hurt yourself. I'm looking forward Put to Put some respect on my mother name, man. It's Elliot Wilson, Club. MTV2, 11 p.m. It's YN Elliot Wilson. Yeah. Good morning. Okay, yeah, you got your hair done. Your hair looking fresh and fly today. Thank you. I got my hair done. Now, you know the crew at her imports totally hooked it up. You see how good I look? I see why they're taking over this hair game because nobody has hair this good. I see these weave companies on Instagram everywhere. I know, right? It's a hot mess. Every reality star or rapper jump off is trying to sell hair on Instagram. Her imports are the industry pros. They had the real Indian hair. Y'all don't know. Check out the video on their website, herimports.com. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.